Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've had a little bit of a rough week so I thought I'd do just a little beauty video just to calm myself down because that usually helps. But today I just wanted to do like a quick beauty video. Um, so I'm going to do some lip swatches. Before we get started, if you haven't been here before, my name is Jess and I post a bunch of different videos every single week on like beauty and lifestyle topics so if you are not subscribed you can just click the red little button down below and you will be notified whenever I post a new video but for today's video I wanted to do lip swatches on these little guys I recently got them they are called the L'Oreal Paris lip paints in matte and I must be honest with you I cannot find any information on these lippies um, I've been looking all over and I'm on um, Ulta Beauty now, which is an American website. Um, if you are not familiar with my channel, I am from South Africa, so we don't have an Ulta here. Um, so we normally buy our beauty products at Diskem or Clicks or like Red Square or just on Takealot.com. Um, but like I literally cannot find anything. I'm on Ulta Beauty now and the only ones that I see is on the infallible lip paints which is probably not the same thing but I think they have like similar I don't know similar background so the price for these lipsticks or like lip paints is around I would say they're around 130 Rand. I did some research and most of the lip paints are around that price. So if I find a link, I will put it down below. But like I said, I tried everywhere and I just cannot find these on the internet. Um, when I went onto L'Oreal.com, L'OrealParis.com and I searched L'Oreal Paris lip paint in matte, it said zero results. So I don't know. Um, like I said, if I do find a link, I will put it in the description box um, so you can go check it out. But I have five shades to share with you today. Um, I've got everything from like a beautiful nude, which I have on today. Um, so that's the shade that I have on, but I'll obviously just top it off so you can see what it looks like. And then I have some reds, some pinks, and then a purple. So um yeah i think we can just jump into it it's going to be a very casual video i just wanted to um kind of do these lip paints like swatches of them because i've seen them over instagram like for a while now so yeah that's all i wanted to do so it's going to be a pretty casual video um so again they are called the lip paints in matte i have this one on now and i must say that it feels really good on the lips it doesn't feel like cracking it doesn't have like a matte matte like a drying matte consistency it has like a beautiful satiny matte comfortable matte feeling so this is the first shade and like i said i have it on and it is called 201 hollywood beige it is a liquid lipstick so let me just read um to you on the website um it says over here um in one stroke, the designer applicator precisely diffuses vibrant, full coverage color to the lips for comfortable wear, available in a variety of high impact colors from nude to bold. Exactly what I have here, I have a nude and then I have some bold shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I was actually really, really shocked uh, when I opened these because I thought it was going to be one of those like squeezy lip tubes but it actually has an applicator which is amazing and the applicator is very funny i'm i don't even think you can see from that far so i'll insert a close-up um it kind of has like an angled lip design so let me put this one on um like i said it's kind of like a very peachy undertone nude so that is what a 201 Hollywood Beige looks like on. The next shade is kind of like a really, really fluorescent, shocking pink. It's in the shade 202 King Pink. It's also a liquid lipstick, um, exactly the same to the other one. It's just like shocking pink. Um, you'll see like the cutaways, it's like fluorescent. It's like amazing. So. If you're looking to do like a party 
um, like a Barbie doll party summer look with this I think this would be perfect so let's see what this looks like on um, it's like a really fluorescent pink so that is what 202 King Pink looks like on so these lippies are so comfortable on the lips I cannot explain to you how comfortable they are and I forgot to mention they have the nicest smell it doesn't smell like any lip like the product that I've smelled before, it doesn't smell like MAC, it doesn't smell like Estee Lauder, it doesn't smell like any other lip product, you know those um, vanilla -y scented lips, it doesn't smell like that, it smells so fruity, it just smells like summer and it honestly smells a little bit of bubble gum, I think that's just me but all of them pretty much smell the same, oh no this one has a, what? Oh, I almost stuck that to my nose. This one has a different scent. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But they have like a fruity, bubble gummy, sugary smell. It doesn't smell like vanilla or your iconic lipstick smells like the MAC ones. They just smell so different. And you smell it the entire time you have it on your lips. So if you don't like that, I don't know, I don't think you will like this because you kind of smell that and you just smell like candy all the time, which I love. So those are those two. And then the next one that I have is like a bright red. So let me just remove this. Okay, so the bright red is this one and it's called 204 Red Actually. And I just noticed... I don't have 203, so I don't know what that shade is. I don't have all of them in the collection. So this is 204 um, Red Actually. And let me just see if this one smells the same. I think I'm just going mad. No, they all have the same smell. <laughs> so um, this one looks really shocking. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But the actual wand looks so shocking. So I'm excited to see... Okay, it's not that shocking, but it is like a shocking red. It's not your like average red lipstick. Really pretty. I like that. It looks so pretty on... I don't know, it's, it's just so comfortable to wear. I wouldn't say that it's a liquid lipstick. Um, because it doesn't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels so comfortable on the lips. It feels a little bit more, um, like a gloss, um, but I really like these. So this is in the shade, again, 204 Red Actually. Okay, and then the next one is another red. Um, it is in the shade 205 Apocalypse Red. Same smell. <laughs> I'm just going mad. Um, but this one looks a little bit more deeper. So let's see what this one looks like on. Ooh. Hmm. That's pretty. So if I look at this lipstick and what I would say the best way... Um, to wear this lipstick because it's not as pigmented as I would like like a burgundy deep red lip to be I would totally put like a matte Deep red lipstick underneath and then just top this over and keep this in my bag Just to like touch up because sometimes you need to touch up a red lip because it kind of fades um, So that is what I would do with this lip. Um, it does look pretty on its own I would just like it to be a little bit deeper. So it is pigmented. It's just not as, you know, deep as I would want it to be. So again, that's 205 Apocalypse Red. <laughs> the last shade that I have to share with you is this amazing, shocking purple in the shade 207 Withering Purple. And you guys, this is insane. When I did the little swatch on my hand, 
you can see how shocking purple this is and I don't own anything in the shade so I'm excited to see what this looks like on ah! oh my goodness so that is what withering purple looks like on it's so shocking and so different but it actually looks good I don't know about you guys and I don't know how you feel about the shade but I don't know, I kind of like it. Not that I would wear it every single day, but with like a specific outfit, this would look amazing. So again, that's what 207 with the ring purple looks like on. And those are all of my L'Oreal lip paints in matte that I have to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I must say my absolute favorite one is the first one that I swatched. Um, I wore it, um, you know, as I started before I started, you know, swatching all of them and it's definitely my favorite. So that's 201 Hollywood Beige and I've seen this one um, like running around on Instagram. So I think a lot of people like this shade. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And then I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you soon. Bye.